center court. 16 men, 16 women start today. Ten of them Americans, five men, five women. And this is on the only matchup involving two U.S. stars, the former champion Andre Agassi against Todd Martin. Agassi had three chances to break Martin in the opening game of the match. Failed. Martin survived and then broke Agassi in the fourth game. So Martin serves now 5-3 for the set. Andre had another break point in the fifth game. Couldn't cash. Todd Martin from Lansing, Michigan, Northwestern University, where he lost only three matches in his Big Ten career, has moved rapidly up the ranks of the world's best male players. And as a serious threat at Wimbledon, as we move into the second week. That's one of the reasons why. It's six feet, six inches tall really helps the placement of your serve, which I think is a big key to this match. Todd Martin places the ball beautifully. Doesn't go hit a lot of pace normally off that first serve. That was his fourth ace. Two points from the set. Oh. Agassi a year older than Martin. The showman from Las Vegas, and uh, they scream like he's a rock star when he comes on center court. Crowd, especially the young fans, in his corner today. Five aces for Martin, and with it, two set points. Martin, who beat Pete Sampras as the prelude to Wimbledon in the finals of the Queens. He can play on this grass surface. A pair of tiebreakers in that match. Game and first set. Awesome. First set to Todd Martin. 6-3. Center court. Andre Agassi losing the opening set, but broke Martin Thank you. in the second game of this set and leads Three love as Martin serves up a set. Hit. Here's how Todd Martin advanced here at Wimbledon. Grant Stafford has a tough match. Five sets. Patrick Kunin, a German who once beat Jimmy Connors out in the graveyard, and Martin Dahm, 11 9 in the third. Fortunate that he played that match Friday. A couple days off to prepare for this. 15 0. Sixth ace for Martin. Martin in the doubles as well. Playing with Scott Davis. 13 15. And Andre Agassi to the cheers of the British faithful. Beat Gaudenzi from Italy in four sets. A tough five setter against Pereira coming from a breakdown in the fifth set in that entertaining match with Aaron Crickstein. Three straight sets. Not your typical grass court match, as well as what we saw just before with Chang and Bruguera. Amazing match. Nearly 100 clean winners between them, Crickstein and Agassi. Well, you've offered a, a very subtle tip to players at all levels on all surfaces, and that is that power doesn't necessarily have to beat you, but if you can place control power as Martin does that might be the answer 
Todd Martin's a perfect example of that right now. Trying to mix up his serves against the best returner in the game. Not bad passing shots either. Six foot six inches tall. Todd should have done more with this. Should have put this away. Sort of guided it down the line. I guess he was some tremendous passing shots as well. You have to volley well against Andre. Don't give him a second shot. from Agassi and Martin, whose movement perhaps is his weakness, a half step short. Little sluggish around the court. Agassi miss hitting this return. Todd trying to go for that drop volley. Nowhere near it. His footwork is reasonable for a big fella. Yeah, he's 6'6". Six, six. He's he has a giant ex left. Excellent head on his shoulders. Really knows the game of tennis well. Just long and another break point for Andre Agassi to take a four love lead in the second. Martin losing a little depth off that serve in the last couple service games. Agassi's putting more returns at his feet. Doesn't want to have to keep bending with that tall frame. Seven, ace. Last uh, year and four months, Martin has been in 10 finals, he's won three titles. Certainly the most improved player on the circuit the last year and a half. Seated number six at Wimbledon. Dramatic rise for Todd Martin. Culminating, as you pointed out, in that big victory over Pete Sampras in the finals of Queens Club. The preparation before Wimbledon. Also represented the, the United States in Davis Cup for the first time this March in India. On grass. Had a big win over Leander Pays. A tough match to send the United States ahead 2-0. Dave Malson. Surviving a break point. A hold for Martin. 3-1 Agassi. Agassi leads. They have met four times, each with two wins. All four meetings on hard courts. Most recent Cincinnati last summer. Up. 15. Todd not too thrilled with that call. Michael Morrissey, a Londoner in the chair. Brilliant line by the umpire there. It was either in or out. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Play on. It was one of the two. Looked to be a little wide on that replay. Fifteen. Bad hop. Well, I guess he has to be thinking it could be up for love. Has to dig in here to Square the match down a set. 3 1, 15 all. Ooh. 15 to should point out Andre had a number of chances in the first set, especially that first service game. Todd Martin served. Five deuce game to start this match. Let's Todd seems a little bit unsure of what to do off the return of serve. Andre not putting a lot of pace on it and staying back. I found that very awkward playing him a couple years back. Most players serving volley. Now you see more and more staying back. New trend apparently. Yeah. 
Pulsey yeah, seems to be pressing just a little bit, going for a little bit too much off the ground. Feels like he needs to hit a winner from the backcourt as opposed to just chipping and coming in. Ooh, that might have been long. It's a good play to try to get catch Todd Martin, hit the ball into his body, but if you don't, he really screams that return. Andre couldn't do enough with that lob. Easy put away. Net. When he gets his arms outstretched, he can really take a crack at it, Todd Martin. towel off uh, we're reminded that two years ago as Agassi went on to the championship he had to be a pretty good ex-champion in the semis John McEnroe okay, and I, I didn't bring up that match so that we could go over the highlights of him beating my you know what <laughs> or not getting far enough inside the service line off the serve or not seeing that return. <laughs> it must feel just wonderful for you to be able to relive what? those What did returns. you do to deserve this? Glad to be commentating. Another miss volley. Game. Great game. And back to today's live action here at center court. Todd Martin hoping that that, uh... oh, who's that guy there? <laughs> well, you can smile after seeing that sequence. Right. <laughs> well, it's not easy. Todd, Todd Martin making an easy mistake off that first point. 15. Good first serve to get him back into the game. Big Ten champ for Northwestern. That's where he'd like to hit all his balls. I think what that tape showed. Uh, me and Andre is how difficult it is to know what to do against someone that returns that well. Really makes you alter your serve, which is something you don't want to do. pretty well. Well, I think the kick has a desired effect. Certainly put Todd in front of this point. That was the mistake, I believe, showing that drop shot from that position. Andre loves to scoop that two-handed backhand down the line, holds it a little bit later than most players, lets it drop, but has the feel to guide it beautifully. At the one-hour mark in this match quarter, finals awaits the winner. Fifth double fault by Martin, and here's Agassi with a chance to regain the lead. In this case, he can only blame himself, missing that easy volley, the first point. Double faulting at 30 all, and we see here, Andre only one out of six so far. Big, heavy first serve, skidding to the Agassi forehand, getting him out of trouble once again. 
Yeah, we should point out for those of you not with us yesterday from Wimbledon that John McEnroe felt that uh, Todd Martin, if he served well, had a big chance to win today. Most everyone thinks Agassi, but Agassi seated lower and ranked lower on the world uh, list. I think people shouldn't forget that. If Martin serves well, he can beat anybody in the ballpark. It's witnessed by that win over Pete at the Queens Club final. See the Todd Martin serve. See that placement just inside the line, out wide, forcing Agassi to stretch. Painting the black, huh, like in baseball, hitting the corners. Doesn't hit it as hard as even as if it's, for example, but places it beautifully. Yeah. Off balance winner. <laughs> That's an example of a great Andre Agassi return. You see that ball bouncing away from his backhand, but he still had the strength to pull that ball cross court. See his left leg. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Look like a horse about to race. He saw Collins play once. Oh! If he did, he wouldn't be wearing any sneakers. Because <laughs> you know Bud doesn't wear sneakers on grass. It's the Baldwin Wallace special. <laughs> I could only get an endorsement for my feet. The well, I'm trying to compare the return of serve of Agassi against the unreturnable serves, and Martin a plus 13, and he has a set lead, and he's a point from 3 all in the second. So that one fouled away, and it's 3 all. Gabe Nelson. You see an Andre looking up at his box where his coach Brad Gilbert is saying, I can't have. Can't seem to pick up the serve right now. Is it like a baseball hitter, John McEnroe, that when you're really in a zone, that that ball just seems twice the size? Best I ever felt in my life, 1984 here. Ball looked the size of a basketball. It's Jimmy Connors. That was a fast one. Probably only happened a couple times in my entire career. You, tre you treasure those moments. That's what Rod Laver would say. He'd say, the ball looked like a football to me. Well played by both players here. You see Todd Martin keeping that ball low, making Andre Agassi hit the nice drop volley winner. Out. Just long. To point out, Todd Martin is dangerous off the return as well. Just missing that backhand down the line. He's a very complete player, very controlled. I should point out he's improved his movement as well. Confidence helps a little. Winning a lot of matches, suddenly he seemed to be moving faster. But he's worked hard off the court. Robert Van Hoff is coach now. I go way back with Robert for 12 or 14 and unders. Todd previously working with the USTA national team. And he's trained a lot with Jim Courier. He said he learned a lot doing that. <laughs> well, you mentioned the Courier, Martin and Courier both developing out of the USTA Touring Pro program. Look at the big man showing some touch of his own here. Dead. The center. Catching the side of the ball there. And Guiding the cross court for a nice winner. Okay, Andre gave him the ping pong. Great depth of shot making by Martin, but Agassi had the answers. It's 4 3 in the second. Earlier today, and now back to center court. We continue action in the second set. Todd Martin at 40, 15, 3, 4. Oh. Sixth 
double fault for Todd Martin. Andre a little frustrated, not getting as many returns back as he would like. See Todd with six double faults, Andre only with one. Obviously Todd going for a lot more off the serve. That's where he'd love to hit all his returns. Nice and low to Todd Martin's feet. Key to returning serve is that hand-eye coordination, picking up the ball as early as possible and trying to move forward. Todd Martin trying to get a little closer to the net than he, than he did on that point. Good smart serve by Martin there. Taking a little something off it, slicing it out wide and opening up the court for himself. Point from four all. tonight at 11.30 here on NBC. Our Wimbledon update that will bring you all the scores and major plays of this day with eight matches on the men's side, eight women's matches, everyone in action on this round of 16 Monday. 15 A rare venture to the net there by Andre Agassi. He needs to mix it up as well. Smart play there. That's not where you want to volley. We call that no man's land between the service line and the baseline. Todd hesitated, decided to come in, doesn't want to get himself caught there. Painting mm. the line, Todd Martin, 40-15. Ball seemed to skid a little down and a little into his body, but he handled it well. Still down 40-15, however, to the, on the Agassi serve. Andre Agassi earlier today, and now back to center court. We continue action in the, the second set. Todd Martin at 40-15, 3-4. Double fault for Todd Martin. Andre a little frustrated, not getting as many returns back as he would like. See Todd with six double faults, Andre only with one. Obviously Todd going for a lot more off the serve. That's where he'd love to hit all his returns. Nice and low to Todd Martin's feet. Key to returning serve is that hand-eye coordination, picking up the ball as early as possible and trying to move forward. Todd Martin trying to get a little closer to the net than he, than he did on that point. Good smart serve by Martin there. Taking a little something off it, slicing it out wide and opening up the court for himself. Point from four all. Oh. 
Gabe Martin. Well left by Todd Martin. Reminder tonight at 11.30 here on NBC, our Wimbledon update that will bring you all the scores and major plays of this day with eight matches in the men's side, eight women's matches, everyone in action on this round of 16 Monday. 15 Monday. A rare venture to the net there by Andre Agassi. He needs to mix it up as well. Smart play there. That's not where you want to volley. We call that no man's land between the service line and the baseline. Todd hesitated, decided to come in, doesn't want to get himself caught there. Painting mm. the line, Todd Martin, 40-15. Ball seemed to skid a little down and a little into his body, but he handled it well. Still down 40 15, however, to, on the Agassiz serve. Andre Agassi four, leads 5 4 in the second, but Martin owns the opening set. Andre Agassi. Looking for a chance to stop Todd Martin down a set. Martin 4 5 in the second. 15. Well, Todd Martin certainly doing the right thing, throwing the kitchen sink at Andre Agassi, serving into the body out wide, slicing, topspin. Exactly what he should be doing. And everybody in the ballpark hopes that Agassi can turn off that faucet at the sink. What a favorite he is. Good deep second Good serve. Yeah, you know, that's the key to the advance deep into these championships, that second serve. Pete Sampras's second serve. You hear all the players moaning about the fact, hey, that's like my first. John Newcomb had a great second serve, helped win him some Wimbledon titles. Three of them. This time that nearly <laughs> the Duchess of Kent was in danger for a moment. It's like a line drive would go into the Royal Box. A slight miss hit here by Todd Martin. But she fields her position well. Mm. <laughs> He's waving at you. Indeed, the uh, Duchess of Kent in the first row in the Royal Box with a little wave to our commentator McEnroe. And she waves well. Good right hand, I thought, John. <laughs> She's had a little practice, I think. Point from 5 all. I'm not sure if he had trouble slowing himself there, down there as he approached the net, but he seemed to be moving as he hit that ball and catching it a little bit behind him. Two loose points here. He hopes, Todd hopes it doesn't cost him in this game.
Game Again, off. a big second serve from Todd Martin. Five all. Five games over. Heavy second serve. Very well placed. Forcing Agassi to try to hit that return one handed. Todd knows he's in good shape when that happens. That high ball toss at six foot six inches. Very difficult to pick up where he's serving. And that long reach he's got, he stretched out for that Agassi first serve and rammed that forehand into the Agassi feet. Andre unable to handle that. One of Todd Martin's favorite shots there, a top spin lob. Loves to hit that shot and give him some time, and he had some time here. Beautiful lob. Suddenly, love 30. Ooh, that's just too good. And Martin gets three chances to break, and what? Service returns from Martin in this game. Three Hummers right back at Agassi. It should be pointed out on the circuit that Todd Martin is considered a very dangerous returner, and he's showing why right now. Big, big game for Andre Agassi here. And for Martin, break Agassi, serve for a two-set lead. Serving for a two-set lead over Agassi when we return. With the enormous popularity of Andre Agassi in England, he told us uh, the other morning he went to breakfast. Eight cars with photographers followed him to see what he was going to eat. Where do you find peace, Andre? It's harder than anything I have to fight on the court. Let me put it that way. You know, I mean, when I get out there on the court, it's my safety zone. You know, it's a place that I feel you know, the best, the, the safest. And uh, when you're outside that and when you're trying to maintain a normal life and people pulling at you and trying to make you believe that you're either better than you are or worse than you are. If you if you win, you're a hero. If you lose, you're a goat. And those are things to you got to keep in perspective, else you can start believing it. And pretty soon you find yourself caught up in all the pressures. And, and the next thing you know, you're not enjoying it much anymore. Intelligent answer. And you could relate to all of that, John. Especially in England. Very huh? intelligent young man. But he enjoys a lot of that. I should point that out. He's not enjoying what Martin is serving up. That's his eighth ace. And Martin in position to lead by two sets. If Todd Martin were to win this tournament, he would be the tallest Wimbledon victor. Ivan Petra in 1946 was 6 5, a Frenchman. No, but Man, even even Izovich, Martin final would be a <laughs> <laughs> NBA job. How tall is Big Bill Tilden? But he was about six two. They called you know in those days that was a big guy. Back back in the 1920s, he won Wimbledon three times. And in those days, they didn't. It was a boat trip. He won in 20 and 21, and then didn't come back until 27. Mm. The net board an ally for Agassi. Once again, Todd decided to go for that drop volley off a relatively easy shot here paying the price once again keeping Andre Agassi in this game 
Nice touch there on the one-handed backhand. Chance for Andre. But now two set points, Martin. And this crowd now stunned. You don't hear that uh, chorus of cheers for Agassi. The numbers are fewer rooting in his behalf. Boy, John, you're so right. You just don't know where to look when you're receiving. inches of serving power today. Six, three, seven, five over Andre Agassi. And for Agassi to advance, he has to find a way to win three sets against this big man from Lansing, Michigan. Update. Agassi first serve percentage is better, but look at the winners, John. See, Todd, twice as many winners, more than twice as many on four serves, but taking better advantage of those break chances as well. The big thing to me is not only is Todd Martin serve well, which I felt was a key, but he's picked the right moment to go on the attack off the return. He surprised Agassi. After Agassi's had a break point, he's come right back and broken. You shouldn't forget, Andre was up a break in the second set. 13, 15. Very important to get off to a good start here. He may be steamrolled off the court in three sets. Basically just reacting to this big Todd Martin return down the line. Took Martin's pace, winner cross court. Double fault for Agassi, a second. The other part about Todd Martin, even though he's big and looks a bit gangly, he's very fit. Remember he went Deep into a fifth set against Martin Dom, won 11-9 as he rallied from a set down to win the fourth and fifth. He wasn't happy with himself after that first round match. Felt he should have won that in straight sets, and that went five sets as well. So Grant he's, Stafford. He's played more tennis than he'd like up to this point, and he's in the doubles as well. Another double fall to Deuce. Deuce. Andre's got to be very careful here. Andre seems to be rushing things a bit. Normally does play relatively quickly, but this is a time where he's got to slow himself down. We see Brian Shelton do that very well and a couple his wins. From 40-15 to a break against. Once again, goes right up to the line and serves. No more than five seconds probably between the first and second. And another double fall. Three double faults in that game. Martin has broken again. Todd Martin in control. Welcome back to center court where Andre Agassi has rallied broken Martin a couple of times to take a 4-1 lead here in the third. Agassi, of course, uh, always in the spotlight and so are his friends. Last year in the uh, supporting friends box, it was Barbara Streisand, his current lady fair, Brooke Shields. We asked if she would be here to cheer him on. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Let me put it that way. I, I don't know yet. You know, these, what can you say about these career women? You know, they have things that they're, uh, that they're doing and things that they have to do. But uh, having her here would be important to me. So I'm hoping that would be the case. She's Wonderful. been invited then. Oh, she's, she's invited everywhere I go, yeah. So should uh, Agassi advance in this championship, we might see 
his uh, lovely actress friend and partner. Well, she plays a nice hackerly game, and her grandfather was the finalist here in 1931 in a rare, unique, actually, final. He did not play because of his brain ankle. Oh! And, John, you'll love this. He was in the final. He had sprained his ankle a little bit in the semifinal and show you how important Davis Cup was in those days. Shields is playing for the Wimbledon title against Sidney Wood, the Davis Cup captain. Joe Ware comes to him and says, Sidney, or says Frank to Frank Shields, you'll have to default because we're playing a Davis Cup match next week and your country is more important than you winning this title. And the guy did. So just a walkover for the Wimbledon yep, title? Yeah, Sidney Wood, who we hope is watching. But Frank Shields is dead. Maybe I should have told Agassi that in the semis a couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> We haven't forgotten Michael Chang. We'll keep in touch with what's happening on court one. Chang did hold. It's 5-all, 30-all in that second set against Bruguera. volley from Martin. Todd Martin seemed to come a, come a little bit unglued after breaking the first game of this set. Subsequently lost his serve twice. Seems to get it, getting himself back on track here. And serves a love game. So it's Agassi now 4-2. And it looked uh, dismal for the Agassi camp. Dropping two sets and uh, really struggling to open this third set. Three double faults. Uh, some might have been uh, writing the eulogies. But he's broken Martin twice and has given himself a chance here in the third. on that forehand and pinning it in the corner. That's exactly what Todd Martin wanted to do. A slice extremely low. Agassi on the run. Just inside the line. Tremendous forehand. Wonderful approach by Todd Martin. <gasps> but back to the last shot. How Agassi, I mean, almost down on the frame to get to the ball. It's an example of a player who hits the ball very well on the run, unlike some others. like Aaron Crickstein, who he played in the third round, for example, hits the ball a lot better when he's got more time. The Rocket could uh, hit him on the run, couldn't he? Rod Laver, who was here at these championships 25 years since his Grand Slam. Pete Sampras, Second. another example, hits the ball extremely well on the run. Here it is again, and a little slow it down. See how far he stretches. Oh, the ball almost hit the ground. Golf shot. Tom Martin leads by two sets. Let's now go quickly to court two. Well, when last we saw Andre Agassi and Todd Martin, Agassi had built up a break lead and appeared to be on his way to winning the third set, but Martin mm -hmm. has broken back. Ninth game at love, in fact, and now serves 5-6 in the third, leading two sets to love. Andre may have hit himself on that backhand pass. 
limping around a little on the back court. Indecisive. He saw that cross court and the last minute decides to go elsewhere. Well, actually, he felt went on the off the side of his foot, sprained his ankle slightly there. So it's easy. He used to scoop that ball down the line, but he let that ball almost bounce onto the grass court. Followed by a big Todd Martin first serve. Net. Places returns nice and low. Martin did fairly well there, but that half volley too short. Gave Agassi an opportunity to hit that nice inside out forehand. See him just block that return back. Much bigger swing on the pass. set tie break. Well, it's so tough to pick up the Todd Martin serve. He can kick it out wide to the backhand, but he can also look like he's kicking, but sort of slice it into the backhand. That's what he did that time. Agassi unable to handle it. Game on. And an ace to send it to the tie break. Ten aces for Todd Martin. Six games all. Third set to tie break. Agassi will start. No room for error for the popular Andre Agassi. Thank you. Todd Martin's lack of movement hurt him here. He had an absolutely tremendous forehand there to put himself ahead in this point, but unable to do anything with that passing shot. But Agassi having to earn everything. Look the way he hit that volley and where he hit it. Very lucky there. He'll take some luck right now. Beautiful return there to the Martin feet. Once again, just taking the pace off Martin's serve, using his own strength to guide that low to Martin's feet. And it's wide. Net court skipper helped him. So Agassi takes the three points to love lead. As Martin unable to score off his serve. So the tremendous return there. One handed back in. He stuck his rack out, it appeared. Certainly surprised Todd Martin. that forehand. <laughs> Martin once again with a big return of serve. Agassi just flicking that forehand cross court. I don't know if Martin's fatiguing a little bit or just not moving particularly well. of a Martina Navratilova match in the finals against Chris Everett. 
Todd Martin mishitting that return. Andre Agassi on the attack and hit a break once again with the left court. said there was no margin for error. He certainly listened to you. Yeah, the brilliant uh, tie break for Agassi helped by two net cords. Tie break records. Another surprise here. Agassi under 500 as well. Martin's had plenty of opportunity to go to school. His 31st tiebreaker of the year. His best record by far in 94. Struggling to stay above 500 himself. This is headed for a fourth set. I guess he's working on a shutout. I'm not laying too much on the line by saying that, I don't believe. There it is. Ties the record. He could have gotten a default, too. Perhaps. Agassi is alive, and center court is as well. Welcome back. Michael Chang has advanced to the quarters where he will meet the defending champion, number one seed Pete Sampras. Sampras in straights and Chang as well in straight sets Time. over Sergi Bruguera. And now on center court, Andre Agassi has uh, just brought his faithful to their feet with a break of Todd Martin's service. And now he has the lead down two sets to one, but up four, three in the fourth. Please. Meanwhile, over on court one, next match is Helena Sukova and Martina Navratilova. And we'll uh, be switching back and forth to keep you abreast of that. Love it. But this time, it appears Andre's a little fresher than Todd Martin. He's got to be very careful here, though. Looked that way in the third set as well. Andre unable to put away that third set until the tiebreaker. After being up a break. I don't think Todd Martin broke a string on the previous point. Maybe his grip butt handle fell off or something. Opening for Martin, love 30. Well left there by Todd Martin. Very, very tight call. But it was long. Yeah. Not going to be happy with that backhand. Big point just dumping a one handed slice back in into the net. Still up 15 30. from that long first week. Playing singles and doubles. We see the Andre Agassi about as hard as he hit, has hit his first serve the entire match. two sets serving to stay in the fourth. Tom Martin not moving at all there. Andre Agassi giving him a second chance but unable to capitalize. Rare venture to the net by Andre Agassi off the serving volley. Now one game from a two sets all. Boy you wouldn't give have given Agassi much of a chance the way he started that third set.
once again reacting tremendously. First to that Todd Martin first serve, and then to this fairly deep volley by Todd Martin. Just whipping it down the line for a winner. That's not going to work too often. Todd Martin ends up losing this match. He's going to point to that second game of the third set when he let Andre right back into it. But a very loose and seemingly flat game there. appears to be struggling with his movement. Andre turned that top spin lob off the backhand side. Martin sh stretch volley wide. to try to hang tight on his serve. Wait for that opportunity on the Agassi serve. Regardless of what happens in this fourth set. Good. Set point Agassi for two sets all. Andre seems to be seeing that Martin serve even earlier. A lot of options there for him. Just Dropping that back in inside the baseline for a set point. Tie things up at two sets all. Rip tickler. See him jamming Andre Agassi. He wasn't able to get that racket out in front of him. Good serve by Todd. that vaunted Agassi return. Todd not getting that serve out wide as far as he would like. And boy, did he pay a price. Talk about getting to a ball early. Jeez. 16 aces. Mark. To knock away a second set point. over the roof, I think. Well, the ball certainly wasn't more than 12 inches behind the line, that's for sure. Okay. And another race for Todd Martin. He shows his uh, grip by holding on despite two set points against, and it'll be Agassi serving for a two-set all score when we return. One break in this fourth set, Agassi in the seventh game and now serves to even the match. The key, nipping at this kid's heels, I think. Certainly didn't move for that ball. Boy, the net cord is his rope. Two critical net cords for Agassi in the third set. Tie break that he won, seven points to love. And now he gets the ball to bounce right. Two points from the set. His third set point.
Double fall. Crowd with a 40 love advantage should take a chance. That's his fifth. Showman and him couldn't help himself. Wanted to go for that ace at 40 love. Four set points swatted away by the six foot six inch Todd Martin. And that's why going for a lot off the second serve can be a risky play. Todd Martin coming up with a big backhand down the line. Andre doesn't want to let him back into this game. Fatigue. Adrenaline can help. Couple, Todd, sorry, a couple of absolutely huge geez. forehands by Todd Martin here. Culminating with that inside out forehand. 11 strokes. Five set points for Agassi. All denied. And now he hits wide. What a miss there. And Martin from 40 love down with a chance to break back to five all. Todd slipping on that return. Andre had the open court. Just missed wide. To that Agassi backhand saving him there. Todd catching that ball late. Also the pressure of the moment. Pulled that racket up too much instead of moving it forward. You like to try to follow the ball. Wherever you want to hit it, that's where the racket goes. Martin has clipped the baseline in this critical game, denying one set point and earning now a break point. It's a bit of a prayer, but a heck of a shot nonetheless. Hit both lines. Todd hitting that backhand one-handed on the run. Mark that as maybe the shot of the match. Certainly is if he wins his fourth set, that's for sure. crack in the composure of Martin the entire match. You can tell from the first point whether he's ahead or behind. Oh. Fans seeing that with their heart, but call is wide. Set point. Number six. Oh, this umpire's overreacting. They <laughs> groan and he says, quiet, please. will play a set for the final eight. Alondre well, Agassi, after digging out of a situation, down an early break in the third, down two sets, capturing the third, winning the fourth, and then broken in his first service game here in the fifth, and trails Todd Martin, love three. Seems familiar, doesn't it? Last year, same thing against Pete Sampras and lost it in five. So, a third win for Todd Martin, would you say, John? At least third. 
Shows you why you don't want to get down two sets also. Awful long way to fight back. Mm. Nice crisp volley there by Andre Agassi. Good volley. I'd always like to see Andre go to the net more. Seems comfortable there. Caught that a little bit farther back than I would have liked, but the result was excellent. How do you volley when you play doubles with him? Not well enough. <laughs> <laughs> We had a lot to carry by that point. 13, 15. Three hours this match at center court to begin the day's play. Oh. I'd be very disappointed in himself to play such a loose game, the second game of the fifth set, Andre Agassi. Oh. So they looked to be in the driver's seat after winning that fourth set. Martin appeared fatigued. Give Todd credit. And underlining what you've been saying all along, Martin's the complete player. He's got all the shots. He's a, thinks the game well, works the mental part, and he's fit. Todd was heavily recruited by Michigan State in his hometown, but he wanted to go away to school, Northwestern. Coach Paul. Torricelli was only too glad to have him to win that Big Ten for them. Not what you call a tennis powerhouse. The no, not at all. Marty Reeson. Marty Reeson, yeah. Charlton Heston play? I don't think so. I think he played a little football, actually. Jeez. Another big return by Todd Martin. Katrina Adams won an NCAA title in doubles for Northwestern. You see Todd Martin moving forward as well, cutting off that angle, angle a la Andre Agassi. Back to Deuce. Andre can ill afford to lose this game. Already down a break. Love three in the fifth. Oh, he's, it's a gimme. That's his third knockdown. It's not always an easy shot to hit for your opponent. It's like when you see your opponent cramping, it's almost too easy. Todd Martin did well there. And a second serve now to take a four love lead in the final set. Oh, Agassi flirting with a double fault. You hear everyone in the stands hold their breath on that second serve. Awfully close there. I think Todd Martin was. Certainly hoping, if not thinking, that serve went out. They're acting as though he were a British player. <laughs> Groans and gasps. Well, they'll have a chance to do that a bit later when Jeremy Bates takes this court. Ooh. <laughs> it was a similar shot by Martin that excused Pete Sampras in the finals at Queens. When he hit an overhead, waited patiently for the court to open, and hit behind uh, Sampras. Yeah. Todd Martin leads four love in the final set. The most emotion we've seen from Todd Martin the entire match yeah. right there. He knows how important that was. Watch him here. Blocks that return nice and low. Last time I saw him like that was in New Delhi in March when he won his Davis Cup debut over Leander Pays in four tough sets to give the U.S. a 2-0 lead. Then the U.S. went on to win with Richie Renneberg and Patrick McEnroe taking the doubles. Way out. 15. Agassi didn't like the call, but it'll stand 22 aces for Martin. Well, well, when is the machine wrong? When it's this far out, it's wrong. But well, once again, that was not 12 inches behind the line, which is when there's no beep on that electronic line. Certainly closer than that. That one was past 12 inches.
It's hot toddy now. Well, if you're going to be frustrated, take it out on the ball, and that's what Andre did here. Stepped inside the baseline, ran around the backhand, and ripped the forehand up the line for a winner. Absolute must game for him now. You gotta be kidding. He thought that served as long as well. That's ridiculous. And Michael Morris here sees. They've turned off Cyclops. Poor machine. It hasn't worked for 15 years. Why should it start now? I don't know why. We must put up. Must have a good with deal machinery. with the uh, Wimbledon people. Nastasi tried to destroy it. Pretty Didn't good. Succeed. Pretty good point for Agassi. He was arguing while the point was going on <laughs> and still was able to win it. Well, this is last chance, Phil. Here, he's got to break through. Two breakers for Andre Agassi to get one of the two that he's down. He's come from behind, two sets, one by Martin, and then Agassi getting the third and fourth. Can he play that well to overcome a two-break deficit here in the final set? Todd's corner, isn't it? He's hit an awful lot of serves out wide to the Agassi forehand. And caught Andre creeping to his left. Another break point. Then he follows it nicely with a serve out wide to the Agassi backhand. Opens up the court once again. Very intelligent play by Todd Martin throughout this match. In five sets, uh, a career. Well, Todd Martin, pretty good at Wimbledon, five setters. Yeah. Working on five and oh. Wow. On the sideline again, that slice serve. 23 aces. Utilizes his height so beautifully. another. Some chalk came up, but the chalk was a little wide of that line. No complaint from Todd. Andre Agassi muses as to what might have been today down five love in the final set. We can go back a couple of years to a happier time as Agassi, Goran Ivanisevic, match point. greater smiles anywhere <laughs> than those when that trophy is raised perhaps matched by those the friends who uh, love the winner up in the box above our broadcast position can't forget the US Open right or ah. what a stretch by Todd Martin This tells the story. I guess he with a good percentage. 24 to 31. Excellent. Didn't do it enough. Todd Martin in over 100 times in this match. 
15 in. You can see it telling himself to calm down there. He can sense this victory. Wants to keep playing within himself here. Well, he's done that for three hours and 10 minutes. And we'll forgive him for one loose point. We should point out very few people can hit a forehand like Todd Martin just did in that last point. And the volley is wide. Todd Martin pitching a six love shutout if he makes one more point. And a date with Wayne Ferrer, the South African in the quarterfinals. Ooh. He certainly wanted to win that in style. Still another match point for Todd Martin. else it's a cosmetic game for Agassi no whitewash you mean doesn't want to exit and swallow a bagel and won't have to but it is an impossible dream 5-1 Martin Martin reads five games to one Twenty-three year old Todd Martin has played a superb match worthy of this center court appearance against a former champion Agassi. Five one in the final set. shot had winner written all over it. Well, he started with a fine return here. Todd Martin doing well on that first fall, but even better on the second one. He did every inch of that long frame. Big relief for him to get that first point. Excellent forehand volley. No backswing whatsoever. And plenty of depth on that volley. Going after Punch. the volley. 61 unreturnables. That includes aces and balls that uh, Agassi couldn't get back in court. Agassi's had 35 returns on which he scored without another shot back on his side. And once more, he serves to Martin's corner. That right hand corner in the right court. I put a sign there, say Martin's Corner. Third match point.
The number 12 seed, Andre Agassi, dismissed by a giant game from a giant American, Todd Martin. A well-deserved and hard-fought victory for the American, Todd Martin. See Andre throwing his shirts into the crowd as is his custom. Back to the drawing board. Yeah, for his loyal, sometimes even raucous fans in his support, a disappointing time. But let's not forget what an outstanding match we've seen from Todd Martin. He was the better player. And despite the brilliance of returning serve by Agassi, Martin had too much at the other end. To the quarterfinals goes Todd Martin. He'll meet Wayne Ferreira on Wednesday. And the crowd says, thank you, Andre. We loved every shot. <laughs>